Welcome back, everybody. I am C Money. I'm a Grandmaster level Risk Global Domination player, and today we are playing once again Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. The goal of today's game is to try to rank up. I've been trying uh, to to improve my rank in the game, and that's why you're getting back to back Europe Advanced games. Typically, I try to I'm playing the fourth position. Typically, I try to keep the videos mixed up a little bit where it's not just the meta settings but today we're playing the meta settings we have just some of the simply worst possible capital spots available to us nothing in the center of the board that isn't just going to get rolled white could go for this dinerides cap which cuts the map in half completely with these three blizzards here uh, and then also cuts, I guess, on the bottom as well. They might just take the Gascony cap, which isn't terrible. It's not fantastic. Um, I have nothing up at Noob Corner, nothing in the center of the map. All of my material really is down in the bottom here, so I think probably playing for the bottom is going to be my best choice. I like that capital a lot for the black player. I could play for an Orient cap. I don't think that's great. Pink has a ton of material down here. I'm just going to cap here. We're going to take the four here. If black tries to roll us, good for them. I've got double threes on each side. I should just be able to take the cap right back, but then maybe we get rolled by pink. So uh, capping in a region where there's a ton of pink material is bold, but there's also a ton of my material and pink can see all of it. So um, hopefully they go elsewhere or we'll fight them for this. I, this is not a, GGL is not a particularly good cap, but it force it creates the bottom left into a two point hold uh, between Benghazi and, uh, and GGL itself. And I've got a lot of material down here, so I think I, I cruise across uh, the left here. Just try to take out as much as I can and hope I don't get rolled by the pink player on uh, on the first turn. Uh, I just, I'm coming off a game where I uh, a player was getting strong, but he wasn't very good. Uh, he did end up winning uh, just because I was too weak because the third player in the game was entirely playing for second place, which was very frustrating to deal with. Um, ended up removing them. We do have, all right, so we have red on Romania, which I actually am not completely jazzed about. Black's cap actually looks a lot worse now with this red and pink capital. Black's only movement out of the top right is going to be down through the bottom right here. And if anybody is capped on Sirt or Benghazi. Black is actually trapped back there. Um, surprise White didn't take this, but it is what it is. I imagine somebody went for a center hold here. The Trieste capital has kind of the same uh, effects as the Dinerides capital. We do see White going... Uh, White's actually going to play in France. Okay. That's fine. Uh, now I've got this play down here. Pink... I could maybe let Pink get some of their material out, but... I'd also like to get some of my material through here, but I don't really want to get stuck on the opposite side of this. Um, I think kind of just adding two, one, one. Black might have just taken this bonus on, his, on the first go. Wow. Aggressive play. I think it's going to pay off for him. Uh... So I've got one, one, I got three on the cap here. That should be enough. I don't think I'm just, I want all of these rolls to succeed. Got blue here. Uh, I'm going to try to take that. I can pull that back to capital. So I hold this for now. We'll see if I'm actually able to hold this. Pink might take me out of here. I, I felt like rolling the three on ones. If they hit me, they'll discover Pink's cap immediately. Maybe they'll try to roll that. They're being very slow with their dice rolls. They find Pink's cap. Ooh, the, this is taking a while. If we don't see him hit black, I feel like they might have tried to take that capital. Nope, or they went to the left here and now they're hitting black. I don't know. This is a lot of attacks. What is the red player up to? He does hit down here with a 10. So I think that they do, in fact, have just this bonus. Didn't bother rolling out Pink's capital. So does Pink commit anything down here in the bottom left to try to get his material out? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I mean, there is... This is eight 
eight worth of material down here. I am holding this bonus. Be nice if pink let me hold this bonus. But I think the play for Orient is not going to be a very good one with black, potentially with a... All, already with a bonus behind them. Might even be getting... Russia is a plus seven, 12. Or even 13 on the next turn. Blue playing off of their first turn. It looks like they held Iceland. And now going for a play on Scandinavia. Scandinavia, a two-point hold. That whole area, the whole noob corner is a two-point hold. Russia is, uh, with, with where Black's capital is, technically a three-point hold, but potentially even better than that. Uh, the white player I would appear holding France and now also going for Spain. So we should try to remove white from uh, this spot here on the left. I could try to get aggressive and remove all of these uh, pink components, but I'm not going to uh, try to get that aggressive. We'll see what I can do. Yeah, black getting 14 actually. So that's dangerous. Um, he might even move into the... Eastern Europe bonus there, which could be dangerous. The players in our game, the blue player is General, uh, pronounce that. Well, so it's normally it's Nguyen, so Nguyen, Nguyen, <laughs> it's the best I'll do. Actually, black coming through here, either came through the left or just straight up took red's cap. I'm not sure which. The red player is not bought it up, but they do get broken. Um, we're getting nine right now. Let us hit white out of here. Yeah, so white's completely gone. And then what kind of rules can we get on pink? That one's not terrible. Four on two. Dice eh, dice rolls. One for one. And win that. Uh, I'll leave these over here. We'll pull this the capital. So we have this bottom left. I actually just decimated pink. I, I got pretty good dice there. I, I'd rather hold all of this than... Um, and red comes down with a five. Oh, they're going to get their cap rolled. Red is probably going to get his cap rolled on this next turn by black. Black might just snowball this game completely out of control. Um... So we are holding this bottom left. I think breaking black is is kind of imperative on this next turn. Although white is getting kind of strong on the left-hand side. If white sees how strong black is getting, maybe he'll consider doing something about it with this piece here on Iraq. But uh, we went through the blue player there from Italy. The white player in the second position, Mats Wallen from Sweden. The black player in the third position is Ankin from Turkey. Uh, the... The green player is me, C-Money, in the fourth position from the United States. I'm currently flying the flag of Papua New Guinea in the game. Uh, the red player, Hoke Valenzuela, is flying the flag of Palestine. Yes, the Palestinian flag. We have, uh, finally, the pink player, Weary Mentor of Shiny Land, is from Taiwan. White finally making their moves. They go after blue. So I could I could choose to remove them from the bottom. And we're in a position where if black does take red's cap, I can actually aggress black. Uh, is he going to come down into me right now? Or is he going to go into pink from the backside? He's going to go into pink. So pink is pretty much dead there. So he can have all of these capitals, but I could potentially gain access to his the back door up here. Um, unless he didn't roll pink right there. Pink is not botted. Let's just get a little bit of security on my capital. And then let's, uh, let's hit black. No reason not to, right? end up saving red maybe we saved pink pink did bot so I, I think black has this capital uh, hopefully this too is not the last of pink pink dying on the next turn would be pretty bad the goal here is that black doesn't get enough troops to get all the way to my bonus here there is the risk behind it that they might no, 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 no. Ah. We, we chill brother 
You hit black. You don't hit me. I'm trying to help. I, I don't know if Red realizes I'm trying to help him. Thanks. Good luck. All right. The fist bumps worked. He doesn't break me. Because he probably doesn't really... Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, is he going to take Black's cap? A little retribution? No, but he does remove the seven, which was, a, a, there was something I was worried about was Black coming down off the seven and hitting me. But if Black has the Istanbul cap here, we do see only... <laughs> we see the three troops placed here. Wait, he was getting seven. Did Pink take... I wonder if Pink took Vienna and Trieste. Seven a turn. I mean, otherwise it would imply two capitals, which I definitely don't think Pink had. Wait, white's, uh, or yellow, or, sorry, blue is on seven. Was blue getting more than seven at any point? They were not. So I don't think, I think white's probably aggressing blue. White's getting 15. I think on this next turn I have to remove white if black doesn't take back his entire bonus and now in the position that i'm in i actually think black's capital is pretty pretty useful to me if i can keep keep it the uh, pedal to the metal yeah they did take they took pink's cap they might cut off or through red into me yeah here they come thought this might happen well played they won't certainly won't break. Although they only do that, right? And then they don't, they don't take back the bonus up here. So these capitals are weak, and he just broke through red, which is going to irritate the red player. Um, now I'll just sit here with a six, uh, and then we'll pull this down this way to try to make a play on and white and blue in here. I don't want them in there. Now the downside of this is if Red decides to, yeah, to take that back. Maybe he leaves this here as added protection. No, he got broken. He, I think he might have gotten broken by the pink bot there. If the pink bot did have that bonus. Is he down to three now? Yeah, he's down to three. So I think that was Black's way of saying, hey, don't, don't hit me, don't break me, but... The benefit... Okay, so pink does place troops elsewhere. That's what that tells me, because we didn't see anything added to that five. Uh, blue's still getting seven a turn. But black... We'll know if black is still mad at me if he comes down again. This capital was got much weaker, because it, it started off as a... As a 12, and then diminished down to... He sent back a six. Or I guess a five, so it would be six on there. White's getting 19. We desperately need to remove white from the bottom right here. We can't let him sit here any longer, I don't think. Blue card skips. That's interesting. So blue seems to have some degree of skill if they're going to card skip. I, 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 card skip doesn't necessarily mean you're any good, but, uh, but players who aren't good won't card skip, if that makes sense. White's taking a very long time to decide what they want to do i think blue card skipping is actually a bad play because they're neighboring uh the player that seems to be the strongest player in the game right now we obviously don't know where white's capital is does white also card skip white does not card skip so we will not card skip i don't think that's in my best interest black is getting seven a turn probably going to try to take back his special bonus which uh, does not have the troops to do that unless he works off of his nine which he does not do. Uh, let's remove this for sure. And uh, definitely don't want that down here. I will hit here just to get this uh, to a sound location. We're not going to break red, but I don't want red's attacks to be into me. Red sees that black has not yet taken this bonus back. Um... It's four. Oh, God, dude. Oh. Oh, he just took that cat from black. That's a terrible play. That's such a bad play. He just lost nine doing that. All right, we could maybe snowball this bottom right. Uh, we could maybe snowball the bottom right now. Black might go into red off of that play. Mind you, there's still some presence of other players in Italy. White hasn't taken Italy. 
White has, however, taken, I think, Central Europe, Western Europe, and Southwestern Europe. So we do remove White from the bottom right, which I think was uh, smart, getting them out of this side of the map. Now they're only getting 15. So they got broken either by pink or by blue. I think in France, given that they're getting 15, that would be, uh, indicate a loss of four. We've got a nice 30 cap here. Obviously, like you see, I've got the 30 cap here. Black got, uh, stretched himself a little too thin. Red obviously hit that seven earlier. So Black's capitals are, uh, or well, not even capitals, position in general is quite weak. He will trade. What he does with the trade... Oh, is he botted? No, he just placed a four over here for his attack. Interesting. I'm not inclined to let him hold this bonus at all now. Especially if he keeps going. Yeah, that was a bad play. I'm just going to take that cap. That was a really good roll. Pink's in here. Interesting. I think that was the right play. Uh, that was a tremendous roll. That, that a little cheaty, if anything. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of abuse on black there. Their kill will be up for grabs pretty soon. Red's probably going to keep going. No, red doesn't even keep going. So red's been a homie. Red's also not necessarily easy to card block, but um, easy to prevent from hitting me. And then I should just be able to get kind of out of control with the position that I'm in now that now that I took Black's cap. Because Black is going to be getting three a turn, even if they have the trade. We actually see perp, a pink available, so they could maybe go for a kill on pink. But I think this is probably the end of pink is what we see. So we could trade in and then get the three cards off of pink, end up on four following our next turn. Blue does get the plus two down here. So this is the end of blue. Yes, this was the end of blue. Blue putting a target on their back. Blue's really putting a target on their back. So white took blue out of the top left completely. It's going to go up into pink. Oh, did he just take this cap from red? White's getting 27 a turn. White might actually feed me the black kill. So if, if if black doesn't trade, we go for black, we then go for pink, we then go for blue. It's possible that white is going to try to get these kills themselves. They're playing it kind of slow. They're also getting quite strong. Does black have a set on three? He didn't leave. It would make me think he might have a set on three. Trade-ins are now 20 um we see a little bit of black here we've got a little bit of black here we got a little bit of pink here does he does he finally bot out he's just gonna make us wait i think he got a little too aggressive early on the the seven off cap was interesting it didn't didn't well defend capitals Obviously, this is this is going to be dangerous coming down to a play against against uh, white because white's going to be off to an advantage, and red also might be in my territory. Black does appear to be botting out. I can still kill blue, black, and I think I kill black and pink first, and then yeah. So I'll take my trade. Let's go 13 there. I'm not going to add anything up there. The rest we'll put down here.
black. I'm not going to necessarily have enough to kill pink here, am I? We'll try to just blitz this. I don't get it. All right. There goes blue. That'll set me in. Uh, so I can kill... Likely kill pink here. I've been a bit of a homie to red, but I think red's got to die now. Um, gotta try it, right? It's red. Do I have five caps? I definitely can't. I got four caps. Uh, I definitely can't take that. He's probably on a set here. Uh, these are reasonably well defended, but not that well defended. If he's got a set, he could maybe win. It's going to be tight. Everything's kind of spread out. Oh, he started from there. No, I'm good. I don't have a set though. That's kind of pro that's a problem. I will live, but if he breaks a lot here and card blocks me, we're not in a good spot. We did just get four kills on one turn. That is pretty crazy. He'll get at least one cap here for sure. No, is he just? Oh, he, okay, yeah. Oh, that was a really bad roll though. That was a terrible roll, and now he's not going to be on a set. I've still got my twenty cap down here. And he doesn't get my Russia or Central Europe bonus, and he doesn't get my bottom right bonus here either. Is he going to come off? I would not come off that cap. Oh, he it, it appears he retreated to his other capital. Uh, but I'll world down this because he's not on the set. Just play those troops in here. That should be a win. We're on five cards. Wow. Uh, just a delightful position to work from here. And I short game. Just took. I took out four people on one turn, and we and we got maybe some lucky rolls there on red. Can we get back to those rolls? Can I find them? I can't. Unfortunately, can't get far enough back. I don't know where he put those troops, and I didn't want to. I assume he put him on wherever Blue's, Blue's original capital was. This I really like this Burgundy capital. I think that wasn't a bad choice at all for him. He does just skip. We're getting 80 a turn. This will be an easy win. Uh, good game. Well played. And uh, and good luck to, to you. I'll work off of my 12 here. Why not? We'll see if we can uh, give this the old spicy world domination game. that I don't know which way the cap is here yeah it's that way good game give him the thumbs up. Yeah. up and there we go everybody you know my last game I spent over an hour playing and I did not come out on top and I, I did not uh, well I didn't record the whole thing either so that didn't help uh, but this one swimmingly i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully i gave you some, some insight in here on uh on my thought processes let's take a look at the players that we played with black was the master i feel like i've played against black before uh pink intermediate white expert blue uh, novice and uh and red a beginner so actually with me as a grandmaster we literally had one of every single available risk rank in this game i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did hit that like button down below subscribe if you haven't already i upload videos just like this one every single day comment down below what you thought about this one if you want to catch a video that youtube recommends for you it's going to be right here above my head the subscribe button in the upper right hand corner as always everybody i have been c money thank you very much for watching i hope you have a tremendous rest of your day peace